Welcome to Power Toys Presents, I'm your host Ken Grimlock and today we're going to be taking a look at Power Core Combiner Steam Hammer and the Constructicons. The guy who doesn't care that there's another team with his name out there, Tosser. Uh, the bio sucks. <laughs> it really does. Thankfully, the toys are awesome. Let's take a closer look at his drones to kick off. There we are, we have the pay handle on down at the back. Really nicely detailed, really, really nicely done. Um, nice paint apps all over, breaks up the colour nicely. Real step forward in the quality, looks the part. The shoveler pusher guy is sort of a gritter-esque, snowplow-esque lorry. Again, detailing nice paint scheme works really well. This green and this cream work really nicely. And nice to have some weathering on the blade. Um, could have been nicely, nicely done, but it's a nice little touch, you know. It's nice to have the additional parts. The steamroller. Um, now this guy could have done with being a little more secure in his piece because that does flop forward a bit um, but lovely rolling steam roller again nice weathering or damage I don't know on the uh, on the roller itself really nicely look done piece and then finally the drill thing again really nice detailing lovely sculpting fantastic sculpting that looks beautiful and good overall paint apps and great color scheme uh, the drones are really really nice on this guy it's a shame that the paint scheme couldn't have been carried on over to the uh, to the main guy or the paint apps anyway because the color scheme's fine i don't have a problem with bright green um and we do have weathering on the blade at the front not quite as nice as the weathering on the um the rampage from revenge of the fallen but overall really nice. It'd just be nice if some of the paint apps had been used to pick out detailing on the treads and the gears um, on the side of it. Because it does end up being a bit green and black. Detailing is utterly sublime all over it. Um, and I do love the fact that you have these sort of dragging teeth at the back. And you, you know, you can almost avoid and ignore the power core points. And they are in there as well. Um, on the underside you do have basically the entire robot's face. Uh, the combined mode's face and chest. Which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice if that had been a bit better hidden. But you know what, it doesn't really matter because these guys are just, you know, you're not going to keep them in this mode for long. They are about the combined mode, but he also has the all-important robot mode. And Steam Hammer in his robot mode is the teeny tiniest kibble heavy scout you will ever see. But for some reason I love him so much. He's fantastic. He's really nicely done. There is something about him that's lovely. There's no paint apps as such. The kibble is so heavy he has to use the power core combiner pegs as heels. And he has no articulation really. Um, but his transformation is sublime. And overall, he just looks great. Let's take a closer look at the teeny tiny little guy. He reminds me of Dirt Boss from Animated and to a lesser extent from Transformers Nefarious. You know, uh, just there's something about him who's just so lovable. Um, the the, the, the transformation in the knee is a three part piece you basically you've got the articulation there but you've got articulation all over it the toes come out of the treads it's where the power core combined things um, rotates around to give him actual toes so he looks not just a block of plastic he looks like he's got feet and the arms while lacking any real articulation does have pop out stabby blade things and he does actually have hands which is nice the head sculpt's terrible I don't know I almost feel if this guy had been cast in clear plastic, bright green, clear plastic, these areas, he would have just looked amazing. I absolutely adore him, even though he has that on his back. I mean, it's almost unforgivable. It's that massive. It's almost unforgivable. Um, you can't do anything with it. It clips in just about, but that's sort of like that you can't really put it forward because it hasn't actually got anything resembling guns up there. So it kind of just has to stand on the top of him. It's a real shame that he has that, but where would you put it? Because that bulldozer blade doesn't transform in any way and has no way of, you know, no semblance of transforming at all. And we've seen what happens with Revenge of the, oh, with Revenge of the Fallen Rampage if you try and make a bulldozer blade transform it just makes for a lot more problems that it's worth this guy is a lot more stable than I am making him out to be so just push him up against there shall we um, I love his robot mode I can't really say too much more about that there are elements of it I dislike for example the kibble and also the, in the transformation process I will uh, whoop, there's little clips there and those little hooks go into the slot there now, it may seem simple, but the pressure you have to apply to make it snap out and snap back in again is a real worry that it's actually going to go. Which makes a real nice change for power core combiners to actually have some friction to their joints. Um, but, you know, 
It's always a fan's prerogative to complain no matter what. Um, let's take a look at his combined mode because that's kind of what he's here for. But oh, just take another second to enjoy what is the teeniest, tiniest, kibble heavy little guy I've ever seen. And the combined steam hammer and constructicons is a sight to be beholden. What an awesome looking piece. I saw the pictures of this guy and I hated it. I really disliked what they'd done with this mode, but you know what? It works so, so well. The colour scheme isn't fantastic. The blend of colours isn't great. Especially the lime green of Steam Hammer himself. But, you know what? It all blends quite nicely. The grey that seamlessly goes through so much of the figure works really well and the black on the legs as well. It, it unifies the look of the piece. I'm not a big fan of the head mould either, which is a shame. Um, it looks a bit too movie-verse for me personally. But I do like the overall aesthetic. Yes, we are stuck with the kibble. The kibble does continue through, and as we go round the back of him, we'll find that those lovely stabby claw things um, and the arms have actually become kibble around the back. But they actually clip in. Um, to the back of the shoulder, so almost become integrated, add a little sense of depth to him, even though he is quite narrow, which is nice, so the kibble actually serves to help, um, which is a rarity. Um, and the big thing, the big thing, let me just highlight how important this is to me. See that? You see that? They're called Thumbs Hasbro. Keep them on all your toys, please. I know they're giant cybernetic robots, but you know what? The cat power core combined limbs would have benefited from them. I can think of two or three arms that would have been a lot better just with the addition of the thumb. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he has proper hands. And that could be part of the reason why I like him so much, is he feels like a, a, a real, I don't know, a real robot, you know. It's not just sort of a, a mishmash of parts. Um, you know, you can't get these bits out of the way if you want to make them look a little bit different. But overall, he's just a nice, solid-looking power core combiner. He's not the best by any stretch of the imagination, but he's definitely not one of the worst. And he does have all of the properties that I like. Um, a decent colour scheme, a really nice combined mode. He has thumbs, um, and he stands quite nicely alongside a few of the others. He's also exceptionally wide. I mean, he's massive. He's just... he. Uh, it, it's one of those, I'm really struggling to find the words, the superlatives to praise him with because it shouldn't work. That's, I think, where my problem is. This guy should not work. He's kibble heavy, he's lime green, while his, while his drones are all normal coloured, but he doesn't care and he pulls it off so, so wonderfully well. Anyway, I've been King Grimlock, this has been Steam Hammer with his Constructicons. Go and get these guys. And I will see you next time. La, 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 la.